Bob Duncan, the technical editor of Scroll Saw Woodworking and Crafts magazine. Today we're going to talk about how to modify a porter cable scroll saw so the top doesn't wobble nearly as badly and you can change blades easier. It's probably possible to use some sort of pin and a clamp to push the roll pin out, but since I had to redrill the hole to accommodate the screws, I decided to just drill the roll pin out. So, to start with, you drill out the roll pin with a 9 64th inch diameter bit. And I've already basically drilled this one the most of the way out, but I wanted to show you a little bit of what it looks like. And that will come free. And then we can start putting screws and washers in to secure it down. The goal here is to put something between the sides of this to keep it from rattling back and forth while you put a screw, a machine screw, through these holes to hold it in place. What I found works best is a number six machine screw that comes with a nut and I put a washer on either end and I found that a washer will also fit tightly alongside this. Now these washers do come in different thicknesses so you might need to spend some time with some sandpaper or a file to get the washer to fit properly. Washer. And I've made sure that all the burrs and any flash from the casting process have been removed from it with a file. Slide effect. Then, Once you have the holes aligned in the saw arm and the, the blade clamps, slide a flat wash over the machine screw, feed the machine screw through the holes in the saw arm and the blade head, add another flat washer to the other side, and at this point you can add a lock washer or some thread locker, but I add the one nut and tighten that down so for the most part it's tight enough to hold the hold everything in place without snapping the cast aluminum here in the saw head then since I had extra nuts I just add another nut to the end and tighten the one nut down against the other one to lock everything in place this piece does see a lot of vibration so it's foreseeable that you could loosen this all up if you didn't do something to, to keep it in place. Above this video I will include a parts list so you know exactly what to get when you go into the store to get it. You may see a slight increase in vibration of the saw overall because as this rocks back and forth it does eat up a little bit of the vibration but for me the trade-off is much greater. I'd rather have it easier blade changes and deal with a little bit of vibration rather than fight to change the blades and have a slightly reduced vibration. So thank you very much. If you have any questions, please feel free to email me at the address listed below. Have a great day.